please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your uh, subscribe, subscribe, uh, hit it. Face TV. Oswobi. So guys, this video is for Oye. Oye, is it Oye Ike or Oye Mike? I don't know which one, but you all know she's Oye. Now, Oye was part of the people, I think they were all 13 or 14, that drilled Bobriski back then when this old tattoo saga was still trending. She also reached out to me like oh mama I, I drew you i love you so much you're my you're my inspiration you're my blah 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 you're my everything she said a lot i said okay let me post you on my page at least to appreciate you and then every one of them were drawing that tattoo because one millionaire and iphone 12 pro max was involved you all know now but I still went ahead to respond to her on a DM and post. I still went ahead and, you know, posted her on my page just to appreciate her. You know? So she saw it. She came to scream, oh, Barbuski, thank you so much. Blah, blah, blah. Only for us. Only for her. She was still sending me messages. Sending me messages. Sending me messages every day. Every day. I would not sleep. I'm like, why? You Are you waiting for me to give you money? Ah. That means that because of money, you go draw your own tattoo. But she was just telling me, no, I want to meet you. That she's the, she's the first daughter of my family. She came from a broken family. She's going through a lot. Blah, blah, blah. I was so tired. You all know, I don't know. I love to help. So I was just so tired like, God, which kind of wala is this one? And I've always loved to help women. Most times, I love to help women. Because women showed me more support. So that was how we we're talking. So I gave her my my number, my WhatsApp number to talk to me. Because I have got lots of messages on on DM. So I said, let me just talk to her via WhatsApp. It's easier. I called her. I noticed she did not understand English properly because she's from Abidjan, Ivory Coast. So but I was speaking to her like, you know, in English. She was trying to reply to me, sometimes back in French, sometimes back in, in, in English too. So we're talking. And I said, okay, I'll let you know when to come to Nigeria. Since you said you've never been to Nigeria before. You're the first person I'm flying out of another country to this country, to Nigeria. So give me some time. Let me make arrangements and I'll get back to you. That was how we ended that part. The fourth day, she called again. So the following day, she got back to me and like, oh, ma, don't forget me. I hope you haven't forgotten your promise that I'll come to um, Nigeria. I was trying to avoid her because the way she was sending me lots of messages, at some point I was really, really scared. Like, this girl seems so desperate. She kept sending me a lot of messages every day and then. So, the next day, Oye went to go and add small money to buy a safe ticket to come to Lagos. Luckily, her money was not complete. I think her ticket was about 200,000 Naira. She had 50K in Naira. I don't know their money is safer. She now said, Mama, please now, nah, I've got 50,000. Can you send me 150? Don't worry. To add to my tickets, I'll come and see you. Then I have no choice. So, guys, I sent her the 150,000. She said she had 50,000 to add to her ticket. Oh, you flew to Lagos. She came with one girl like that. One of her friends that lives in Lagos. When I saw that girl, when they came to my house, I'm like, oh yeah, don't abuse this privilege I'm giving to you. You said you want to come and see me. You're bringing somebody else to join me. How? To come and see me? Two people. She said, no, that was her friend. I came to pick her at the airport. I came to stay by her. Lagos airport is so stressful. Blah, blah, blah. She gave me the excuse. Guys, I lodged both of them in hotel 
I lodged both Oye and her friend in the hotel. I gave my friend ATM to go and source their hotel and their dinner for that night because she got got to Lagos that so they got to Lagos at night and my friend went to lodge them in their hotel everything was sorted because that hotel was very close to my house where I stay so whenever I have any guests it's always easy for me to you know lodge them there the following day they will not come and see me so that was the, the following day she came to the um, hotel no she came to the house she saw me I was still I was still not comfortable guys Oye spent three weeks in the hotel. Every night, we are paying 45,000 naira per night. Because she came, each time she see me, she would tell me, Mama, I want to be your PA. Don't give me money the way you are giving other people money. Just let me be your PA. Then from there, you'll be paying me and all that. So I kind of reasoned that, okay, that's a good idea. I think this will be different a little bit since she said since she said she wanted to walk and all that so i'm like okay the following morning i gave her i sent her money to go and fix her hair look good you know she was telling me mama post me now because for that three weeks that she was in lagos i did not post on my page she was telling mama please post me now i'm already here in lagos post me now let people know that let people know that i'm here i did not answer her because i was very busy at that moment so my friend um his name is obi he had a birthday party during that time so i was the one that also you know we went to go and surprise him so obviously i told um oh yeah to get dressed to look good that very day was the day I sprayed out money that I that I had to post on my Instagram page. So that party was the first day I posted out on my page that I was spraying out money. But I noticed something. Oye speaks French. Every night she will not sleep. This girl live with me, oh. And I'm very smart because I'm living with a stranger. I'm living with someone i don't know do you get because at some point i thought i had to come back from the hotel let her stay in my house because she was complaining to me that eh, eh, she's that place is boring she came to see me not to come and stay in the hotel that i should allow her to come to the house so she came to the house that was when i noticed that she's always speaking french every night so one day i called on my friend in paris she said go and put your phone on a record place the phone close to her then we'll know what she's doing so that very day so guys after i place the phone in our guest room the following that went to pick it i sent the voice note to my my friend in paris because that one understands french she speaks french she said generally she did not say anything bad but she was just gossiping that them. Um, yeah, yeah, I left her in the hotel for a very long time. I'm forming one rubbish celebrity. Anyway, now she's in the house. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I just said, it's fine. I was still cool with her. We are still talking. You know, I said, okay, you know what? Tell me how much will be your salary. Because I have to pay you salary. You have to tell me. She said, no, 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 no. Just do what you have in your mind. Just bless me. Just make me happy. We do not agree on any salary per month. Now, we actually agree that I'm going to bless. I'm going to make her happy. Obviously, I'll give her money. Like, reasonable money. But that was kept to myself. We now went to, we left my house on the island. Went to the mainland. In a friend's place i was there for a few weeks few weeks she now told me that ah ma she wants to change her underwear she wants to buy this she wants to buy that that she give her money and i gave her hundred thousand i said this is hundred thousand go and shop meanwhile at my friend's party i sprayed oye fifty thousand naira I told her to keep it in case she wants, she needs money urgent. Maybe I'm not around and she wants to buy something very urgent. She can take 
from that money. Plus, the 100K I gave her when she told me she wanted to shop has more than 50,000. Oye is worst. Please remember that we, I told you that I went to my friend's house. I left my house on the island, right? Went to go and stay with one of my friends, with his mother. So they gave Oye her own personal room with my house girl. Because I told my house girl to come with me. With my house girl. So my house girl complained to me that Oye doesn't, she won't do anything in the house. Oye wake up, wake up in the morning, she'll be pressing phone, posting on Instagram. Then my, my, my friend's mother called me and said, come, this is your friend, where is she from? She will wear gown, she will not wear bra, she will not wear pants. And she has a male child in the house. If you guys go to Oye's page, go down below her pictures, you will see all her boobs outside. She will not wear pants. Even when she came to Nigeria, if you see what she was wearing. When my friend's mom complained to me, I called her. I said, oh yeah, it's true. You will wake up in the morning, you will not wear bra. All the clothes you bought from Ivory, Ivory Coast is short, 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 short. Who are you seducing in this house? Me, I'm not a man, no. You can't seduce me. Error. From my own end, I'm error. You cannot seduce me. So I don't know who you are seducing in this house. And I gave her money to go and buy some clothes that will cover her body. If you guys notice, look at the picture when she was in Ivory Coast. Look at the picture when she was in Lagos on her page. You will see difference. I told her, you cannot be even me, but brisky. So what I wear all the time. I wear clothes. I don't wear short, short things. To show who now? To say this who? She got upset. She got upset that I was correcting her. Oh, yeah, got upset. Meanwhile, I told you guys earlier that she sleep in the same room with my house help. So I think one of our friends was reporting me too. Dawn is in Nigeria. She's not from Ivory Coast. She thought my house girl had slept. She was spoiling me, saying all sorts of things that she's just waiting for me to give her what she came to collect from me in Lagos. She will go back to Ivory Coast. Eh? Uh -huh. You're waiting for me to, to give you to give you what you came to collect from me. Okay. I kept quiet. We're still we're still parties. We're still cool. We go out, we party together. I was playing along. I was what? Playing along with every of our movements in the house. Then we left mainland. We now went to one hotel on the mainland, Radisson Blue, where I was. So after we decided to move to the hotel, because I've got some shoots at Radisson Blue on the mainland, I said, okay, oh yeah. At some point, I did not want her to follow me because I felt we are going to be too close. You know, she has her own room. I have my own room. We still have a little bit privacy. But sleeping on the same bed, we had just only one bed in, in every hotel, four-star hotel, five-star hotel. So I felt like it would be too close for us to sleep on the same bed. But because I already see her as my other, like my sister, like my kid sister, I already see her like we are already blood, you know? Let me flow with her. Let me bless her. Let me make her happy. She came to the hotel with me. We used to sleep on, on the same bed together. We order the same food. If I order food now, she, the same food I'm ordering, that's the same food Oye will order. If I'm going out, she will dress up and look good. I'll wait. Please don't forget that. Me and Oye, we're both in the same room. So, we are so close. And don't forget that I told you that I have a friend. Her name is Sylvia in Paris. She speaks French. So, Oye sometimes think I'm, I'm far gone asleep. She will start this call again. She can make WhatsApp call from now to tomorrow morning. I was wondering what this girl is saying. Am I, at some point, I was even scared. Am I sure I'm safe? This girl, I don't want this girl to come and say me how to. But this girl, are you doing the right thing? But another man will tell me, Bob, she's your sister. Ignore. Move on. 
Meanwhile, Oya has been spoiling me to all her friends on WhatsApp. My friend was telling me everything, like, uh, so what she said, what she said. I was just trying to play along because I want to know what was Oya's intention in Nigeria, why she was in my house. So she was like, hey, mama, you've not um, bought me my phone, my new phone. Hey, um, I need some other things. You've not, uh, mama, please, you know, you bought for, for every other people. Me, I was just watching her because she was emphasizing on me buying her phone, buying her new phone. I was wondering what was wrong with this girl. So I did not buy any phone. I was still watching her. How much is phone? How much is money? But I was playing along with her. That was so. Each time I talk to her, do this, go and get this. She will not go. She will. She will front her face. She will not go. She will say, eh, "What is it? I don't know that you're talking to me." I'm like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah." Start going back. So it got to a point I couldn't take her nonsense anymore. So one very day, Oye went out without telling me. That day I went out. She did not go out with me. She just went out. I was worried. Because Nami asked this girl to come to Nigeria. She came to Nigeria. So obviously for good three months, I'm going to be responsible for everything that happens to her in this country. I was calling her, where are you? Where are you? Don't go and follow Mano. Where exactly are you? I was just worried about her. She came back. Like, you guys need to see the way this girl talked to me. I'm not a baby. I'm not a baby. She's 20 something years. At that point, I got fed up. Like, you know what? You need to leave. You need to leave. Let me know when you're leaving. I'll buy you back your ticket to go back to Ivory Coast. I am tired. For good three months, I've been feeding this girl. At that point, I lose it. You all know I shout a lot. I don't, I don't used to hide it. All of you here on this page, you know that Bobriski, I don't have patience. I shout. When you are disciplined and you shout, is different from you being wicked. Don't mix it up. So I said, okay, let me know when you're going back to Ivory Coast. I'll buy your tickets. You need to go. So that Sunday, as a PA, before then, you stay with me for a good three months. One month, you know, go. I'm mis I'm 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 mismaltreating you the way you claim I'm mismaltreating you, Abi. One month you no go. <laughs> Two months you no go. Three months you are still in this Lagos with me, and I'm mismaltreating you. You oh ye. ha! You are funny. So I said you need to start going. I'm tired. At this point, I am tired. So that Sunday, she was meant to come. I cannot witness it. You cannot wait. You have to go. So that Saturday. I told her to call um, my ex stylist. His name is Eba Yusuf. She told me she will call the guy to book appointments with him because that guy is always busy. You call the guy. The guy asks you, "What time do you want to? Do you want me to come and fix Bobriski's hair?" He said, "Okay, wait. Let me go and ask." The guy has called you this morning. This girl, you don't tell me anything, no. As a PA, you want to do my PA? Don't you know your work? Are, are you not eating my food? Are you paying NEPA bills? Are you paying for car? I'm to carry everywhere. Who is feeding you? Who is plotting you? Oh, as so guys, you are not paying for any of these things. You don't want to work. So why are you, why are you in this Lagos for three months? Go and Google what is called PA and come back and tell me. Tell me what is called PA. PA work. So I called. I said, oh yeah. If I call Yusuf. And Yusuf tell me that. Because she, she lied to me that. Eh, Yusuf did not answer, pick up her call. You see. Like the guy did not give her the exact time to come. And I called Yusuf in her presence. Yusuf. See what Oye said. That was a. She's a bloody liar. That I told Oye to come and confirm for me that. What time should I come? I said, oh yeah. Oh yeah, go and pack your things. I am tired though. Go and pack your things and leave. I am tired of you staying in this place. Because I think even you two, you are tired already. And you've got a lot of information to post on Instagram. I don't mind. Just go. The next minute though. Oh yeah. Guys, 
The one who always shocked me, pass. We I never see for this my life. Eh? I saw it on Sunday. You know, I told her to pack her things and leave because I was so tired of her that I will book another room to sleep till she flies to Abidjan. The next thing, oh, he came back inside the house, back to the hotel room with blood here. I said, What did you see blood? She said, eh, You slapped me. Huh? In front of everybody. Okay, I slap you. You there, you were recording my voice, shouting at you. Why can't you record when I slapped you? You that played record when I was raising my voice, shouting at you. Why can't you tape when I slap you? I say me. Slap you. Where? Ow! Where did you even see blood first? I was scared. Where did you see this blood on your uh, come from your from your face? I call my other brother. Please, please, please. My other brother went to buy spirits and cotiwo. Can you guys believe that? We clean that part where we saw blood. There was no mark. Now I am confronting you, Oye. If there was mark on your face, this happened just two days ago. Abby, two days, post it on your page. Guys, see, you are free to judge. But before you judge, if somebody hits you with speaker, like she claim, there will still be a mark. Abby, tell her to snap that place and show you guys. If you guys see any mark there, please unfollow me. You all should unfollow me. So I have to snap where there is there is I mean there's blood. Snap where there is mark and show you guys. I was shocked. I was wondering where she got that blood from. I was scared. I was shaking. So I called my house girl. What is going on? So after I called my house girl, my house girl said because, because we went home that night after the old thing she begged me that she was sorry for being rude blah 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 so that day i bought that ticket that for her to go back to the following to go back to um abidjan so some of our clothes are still in my house in on the island so we went to the island while we were in the while we were inside my girl went to go and serve her food give her food what to eat as she was opening the door she said she saw oye rubbing stuff on her face inside her ear taking pictures i said this girl want to set me up this girl this girl want to want, want to sell me house it's even good you are going back to every coast the following day you are free to go back i paid her tickets going back full payment oh tickets so around fifty thousand. i paid for covid tests and she flew back oh yeah let me see your face where is blood coming out from there was no mark. There was nothing. Meanwhile, she has already threatened to tell my Yusuf, my Estalis, that if I don't buy her a new phone and if I don't give her money to go back to Ivory Coast, she's going to post me. You want to blackmail me? It, like you think I'm scared of you? Like you think I'm scared of you? You want to blackmail me because you are threatening me that you want me to give you money and phone? guys i did not buy her any phone and i told her to go ahead and post you can't bring me down i was brisky before you went to draw me at drill me at at your body i was already making it i was already big already so it's not you you are too small to bring me down it's not you so guys that's how everything ended though love you please subscribe to face tv africa and turn the notification on face tv africa and your subscribe subscribe face tv was